AMC closed green today for the first time all week, up 5.5% on the day. Is this hinting at a reversal? Let's see what the charts are telling us. Now, Before we begin, here is a picture from the German markets yesterday. And when they opened, it was up a quick 6.28%, guys. So this is a good sign that um, the U.S. markets may also have shown some green early on in the day. And that's exactly what we saw. So heading into tomorrow for Thursday, maybe if you're awake before the markets are open in the U.S. here, check out the German markets and see what's going on overseas. Now looking back at our chart we've been following, it is looking real nice. Here's the green candle for today. And the bounce, our nice bounce looks even better on a one hour time frame. You can see that I haven't moved these lines whatsoever and the price action is tracking these lines very nicely here. It may be starting to curve upwards. The price has perfectly found support at our long-term trend line. And I do anticipate that to hold for the rest of the week at the moment. Some more confluence with that. If I turn on our moving averages and go to a four hour time frame now, you can see that the last four hour candle close is almost precisely on one of our moving averages. So I do expect that to also help with the buying pressure stepping in over the next couple of days. And I will turn those off now and zoom into a, a even quicker time frame again. I'll stick to the one hour. And I want to point out a scalp opportunity that happened intraday. I was considering uh, making a play on it, guys, but because I just entered my call positions earlier that morning, down around this area at about $5.40, since I had just entered those, those call positions, um, I wasn't really willing to risk that there was a chance that there may have been no dip here. If um, there was enough buying pressure throughout the day, that easily could have pushed even higher. But for our day traders, once the price action crossed the arrow, and okay guys, this arrow was just an estimate before, but uh, somehow it's exactly where the short term price actually ended up. And right where the price dipped below that point, we had a 12% move to the downside. Juicy scalping going on in these markets. The markets are hot. There's just so much information. I'm trying to put as much into each video as I can for you guys. So make sure to tune in tomorrow for more AMC updates. And remember, this channel is always free. 
never monetized. All I ask is that you hit that thumbs up and share the video so we can help out our friends. Thank you. Now, assuming this move to the upside does continue over the next couple of days, where is our target? I did point out this gap in the last video, um, so that's probably, <laughs> if it wasn't on people's mind before, it probably is now. So this is a good target still. And we're talking above $11. I'll do a measured move. and show what kind of profit that may be. And over 100%, what more can you ask for? So around here, under $6, <clears throat> where I entered my call position, I am looking for a 100% move from here, guys. That's our short term target. We will probably see some kind of resistance there before it push higher. And I got a few questions about this falling wedge pattern. Now, let me show you what a textbook falling wedge would look like. And if I put them side by side here, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you agree? Is this a falling wedge in your opinion? We have a big pull up. And then one, two, three, four, five, breakout. Okay. Big move up. I'm going to draw it out. Big move up. One, two, three, four, five, breakout. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're just beginning to learn about technical analysis, check out our Patreon Discord, or you can ask me questions anytime. And I'm posting charts, exclusive charts there, just like this one. Happy trading. Have a great day.